Hello students, this is Mr. Lou, and I am your 7-Minute Sensei, where I attempt to explain everything that you need to know in 7 minutes or less. Today, our discussion is going to be about Accounting Utah, Accounting Strands and Standards. We'll do this in 7 minutes, so let's go ahead and queue up the system. Computer, start the clock. Okay, students, there's a lot to cover. We have seven mandatory strands and one optional, which we have done as a class. In this class, you should learn uh, basic principles of accounting to help you to manage an accounting system for a service type business as a sole proprietor. We'll cover everything from the accounting equation, analyzing business transactions, entering transactions into a journal, posting to a ledger, building financial statements, closing entries, and then finally we'll talk about cash controls. In strand one, we help you discover some accounting vocabulary. Here we learn that accounting is known as the language of business. We also learn something called the accounting cycle. This is a process that accountants must follow in order to make sure that the businesses are profitable and that there are no mistakes in the books and there are no bad transactions. So let's just zip through these nine steps. Step one is we collect and we analyze the data. These are financial tra transactions. Step two, we journalize these transactions into a general journal. Step three, we post this to a ledger where we post by individual accounts. Step four is we do an unadjusted trial balance. Our books need to balance. Step five, we make any necessary adjustments. Step six, we do an adjusted trial balance. Step seven, we create financial statements. And step eight, we close our accounts. And then finally in step nine, we do a post-closing trial balance. And then the process starts all over again. That is the accounting cycle. Uh, we also want you to be familiar with the concept called GAAP. This is an acronym for the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. These are standards which accountants need to follow in order for there to be some type of universal standard. So when auditing a business, um, auditors would know what to look for. There are three different uh, types of business or forms of business, and they are sole proprietor, partnership, and corporation. There are three types of business, and they are known as a service business, a merchandising business, and a manufacturing business. A service business as uh, is as it implies, it is for the purpose of providing some type of service. A merchandising business is a business which purchases uh, goods and then resells those to the consumer and then manufacturing they are the ones that actually produce these goods okay from raw material now moving on to strand two this is about the accounting equation the accounting equation is very simple its assets are equal to liabilities plus owners equity and this accounting equation has to balance and this is our check to see if the business is profitable and if maybe there are uh, mistakes in our bookkeeping. Strand three, uh, we learn more about double entry accounting. And this is where we uh, discover concepts like normal balance. Normal balance is just a designation on whether a type of uh, account should be considered uh, a debit or a credit. So normally, you would see an asset as a debit and a liability as a credit. That's considered normal balance. Finally, um, you need to be able to explain why the books must balance, why the accounting equation must balance. And again, this is a sure indicator. If our books are not balancing, we've got some mistakes in our uh, entries. So we either have a, a bad transaction uh, maybe it's a fraudulent transaction 
to maybe we're just uh, we did not put the um, information from our uh, general journal into the correct uh, general ledger accounts. Moving on to strand four source documents. Uh, we know there are many different types of source documents today with automation. Uh, source documents may be, um, maybe not the best word to use, but typically when we're looking at source documents, they're, they could be anything from a check to an invoice to a receipt, uh, to register tapes, um, memos, invoices, and so forth. In this strand, we also uh, want to make sure you understand the general journal. We get these source documents, we put those in a general journal, and uh, we basically uh, post those based on whether or not they're um, considered income or revenues or expenses and so forth. Moving on to strand number five, this is when we create our uh, financial statements. Specifically, we want to talk about the income statement and the balance sheet. So the income statement is also known as a PNL or a profit and loss statement. And this is where uh, we know whether or not our business is profitable. A balance sheet uh, will um, display assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, moving on to strand six, we are closing an account period. So once we have uh, created our financial statements, we can now close the books for the ending period. So specifically, our expenses, our uh, revenues, our drawing accounts need to be closed out. And the only accounts that should have a balance should be your uh, assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, so we're going to close out an accounting period. And specifically, an income statement is for a specific period, end of the quarter, end of the year, and so forth. Whereas a balance sheet is a snapshot in time. It will indicate uh, the amounts of um, assets, liabilities, owner's equity on a specific date. Moving on to strand seven, we talk about cash control systems. And in these cash control systems, we need to make sure that uh, we're managing uh, the resources of the company properly. So cash control systems could be anything from having two people count uh, money and double check those type of control systems and then finally the optional uh, strand that we decided to do is we learned how to use technology like Microsoft Excel to build financial statements and we also use a tool called QuickBooks which is built by a company called Intuit to help us to manage our books hey this is Mr. Lou I am your seven-minute sensei saying so long and peace out